Hi, Amit Sharma. Welcome you all to my channel, Mathematical Coaching Center. In today's class, we'll learn how to solve simultaneous linear equation by substitution method. Before starting, let's know some basic term. Simultaneous. Simultaneous means together. Linear means line. And equation means it's equals to sign. For example, we have, you can see here, 5x plus 9y equals to 27. It forms a line, that's why it is called as linear. And you can see equals to sign is there, that's why it is called as equation. You can see we have another equation to 2x minus 2y equals to minus 16. Both the equation will take together, together means simultaneously, and we'll solve this equation by substitution method. So what does this substitution method mean? As you know, while playing football, what happens is that the one player is substituted by other player. For example, I'll show you in this, what happens is that the value of x and y gets substituted by other value. So you can see there, y equals to 24 minus x. So in another equation, you can see 2x minus y. So the y value has been substituted by 24 minus x. So this is only called as substitution method. In substitution method, the one value of x will be substituted by the other value. So now let's start today's class. Now let's start the sum. So you can see solve the following system of simultaneous linear equation by substitution method. So what does that solve means? You can see here one letter. Fun word is there solve. Solve means to find the value of unknowns, variables. So what do you have unknown here? X and Y. So we have to find the value of X and Y. So next word, what do you have? Simultaneous. Simultaneous means you will take together. You will take together. So you can see here. Two equations are there, 1 and 2. So let us take this as 1 and let us take this as 2. So what does the simultaneous means? We'll take this both the equation together and we'll solve the value. Okay, that is simultaneous. Now you can see line, linear is there. Linear means is nothing, it's a line. Okay, L-I-N-E, first four letters. So this equation will form a line and later on I'll explain you what does that x and y means and you can see equation why it is called as equation can you see what is there equals to sign is there so that's why it is called as equation suppose equals to okay so now you can see by substitution method so what does that substitution method means you know in football and all what what do you do the one player is substituted by the other similarly in this also the value of one will be substituted by the other. So that's why it is called as substitution. So while doing the numerical, you will be more clear. So let's start solution. So solution, what you will take from equation one, from equation one, what you have x plus y equals to 14. Now this y I'll take to the other side. What will be x equals to 14 minus y. So now I'm taking this as equation three. Now what I'll do substituting substituting the value of x equals to 14 minus y in equation equation 2 so what does the rule says is that in substitution you'll find the value of x or y from equation 1 now you got value now from where you got this value equation 1 but now you cannot put in equation 1 you have to put in another equation that is your equation 2. Now we'll copy equation 2. What do you have? x minus y equals to 4. Okay. So now you can see instead of x, what can I write now? 14 minus y minus y equals to 4. So can you see what we have done? Substituting. Now what happens is that x, x we are replacing by 14 minus y. That's why it is called as substitution. That means the x player has been substituted by 14 minus y. So that's why this process is called as substitution method. So now you can see 14 minus minus is plus. So y plus y it will be minus 2y equals to 4. No, minus 2y equals to 4. 14 will go that side plus 14 when you go that side it will be minus 14. So what I'll get? Minus 2y equals to plus minus is minus. This will be a minus 10. So minus minus get cancelled. Therefore, what can I write? Y is equal to 10 by 2, 2, 5 is 10. So therefore, 
what I got therefore y is equal to 5 so I got the value of y equals to 5 now I have to find the value of x so from where you'll get x can you see here x equals to 14 minus y now you will put this value y is equal to 5 directly in equation 3 now putting the value of y putting the value of y equals to 5 in equation 3 so now you'll copy equation 3 x equals to 14 minus y so what do you got y 5 so 14 minus 5 so 14 minus 5 will be your 9 so therefore you got x equals to 9 and y is equal to 5 so this you'll get 3 marks okay so from this chapter you'll get two question and which will carry it overall 7 or 8 marks so this is you you got now the value of x and y you got the value so till here is your answer little bit more i'll explain what does the what does this x and y represents okay so i have already told you so what is this x and y so in coordinate geometry if you if you plot this line suppose i have you have x plus y is equal to 14 so what happens is that it will form a line it will form a line in a coordinate geometry this is your this is your x plus y is equal to 14 okay so that's why it is called as linear equation but simultaneous means we have to take both the together so what we have next is your x minus y is equal to 4 suppose x minus y equals to 4 is this line so this is my x minus y is equal to 4 so what you can see is that can you see that both the line has been intersect at a point yes this point this point is only solved this point is only solved that means this is your x comma y what you got just now 9 comma 5 so solve means we are not finding anything we are finding the point of intersection of this both the line that's why we call it as simultaneous linear equation means together we are taking the both the lines and we are finding the point of intersection where that both the line has been intersect each other so that is only your solve so we got the answer x equals to 9 and y is equal to 5 so how to check this also you can check rough work only you can see here first equation so just i am checking it in the first equation left hand side i am taking it what do you have x plus y you can see x plus y now i'll put the value of x plus y x is plus 9 plus y is my 5 so 9 plus 5 is your 14 so can you see right hand side is 14 yes that means my answer is correct and you'll get full three marks or it can come sometime four marks also okay so now let's do the second question so here we have another question so now no need to explain what is the solve simultaneous linear equation means so s minus t equals to three so this i'll take it as equation one and this i'll take it as equation two okay so solve so what do you have in this variable so we have variable s and t means you we have to find the value of s and t so what you can do substitution obviously so we'll start with the solution so from equation from equation 1 so what do you have equation 1 s minus t is equal to 3 so what can I write this s equals to 3 plus t so this I can take it as equation equation 3 now what you will do now we will substitute the value of s in equation 2 okay so substituting substituting the value of s equals to 3 plus t in equation 2 so i'll copy equation 2 s by 3 plus t by 2 equals to 6 now what do you have s so now the what happened the value of s has been substituted by 3 plus t upon 3 plus t upon 2 equals to 6 so hope so you got it so we are substituting the value of s by 3 plus t okay so in exam you will get substitution they will give you the method only so you have to use the method whatever they have said so now what you can do now we will do the lcm so 3 and 2 lcm will be everyone you know it's 6 yeah 3 and 2 lcm is 6 now 3 you will divide to this 3 2 are 6 that means that 2 will multiply to the up so that means 2 3 plus t plus now 
2 is there. Now 2 you will divide to this 2. How much? 3 is a 6. That means 3 you will multiply up. That means 3 into t. 3t equals to 6. Now what you can do? So now multiply. 2 3 is a 6. Plus 2 into 2 t. 2t t plus 3t equals to now you can see this 6 divide this so when it will go that's it will multiply that means it will be 6 into 6 so 6 plus you can write or 6 plus 2t plus 3t how much 5t equals to 6 is a 36 so 5t equals to 36 this 6 will go that side so it will be minus 6 so t is equal to 36 minus 6 30 this is multiply so multiply when you go that side it will be divide so 5 6 are 30 so therefore t is equal to i got 6 now i have to find the value of s so what i'll do putting the value of t putting the value of t is equal to 6 in equation where i'll put 3 okay so what do you have s equals to 3 plus t so what is the value of t how much i got 6 so 3 plus t equals to how much I'll get is 3 plus 6 I'll get 9 so therefore s equals to 9 and t is equal to 6 so this is my final answer and you'll get 3 or 4 marks so already I have said you that you can check this answer whether it is right or wrong also so what you'll do you'll take equation 1 left hand side just no need to do an exam just I'm saying you left hand side to check the answer so what do you have s minus t what is the value of s 9 minus what is the value of t 6 9 minus 6 is 3 can you see 3 is there on the right hand side yes that means your answer whatever you got is your right so you'll get 3 or 4 marks okay so this way you can check cross check also now let's solve another question